Greetings students and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at sentence diagramming. Uh, we're doing all the things that we've been doing including uh, introductory prepositional phrases that are functioning as adverbial phrases. Uh, this is part two. So this is a review of what we did last week. Um, so what I want you to do is to, to get your notebook out, uh, turn to your next clean page. Uh, so this will take up a whole page. Uh, go ahead and copy all of this down. Try to make sure you're paying special attention to the amount of space that I leave in between things. Uh, if, you need, um, if you need to write in print or manuscript in order to fit these things on one line, uh, you can do that. Um, you can go beyond the margins if you need to make write smaller to make that fit in, whatever you need to do. But try to make sure you're showing respect to the amount of space I gave because we need to be able to, to both analyze these and diagram these. All right? So go ahead and pause now and get all this copied down and then we'll do it together. All right. Okay, so let's begin by looking at this sentence. So it says, at home, dad always cleans the dishes after lunch. All right, so uh, what is our... Our verb, here our verb is cleans, so this is our predicate verb. Who or what does the cleaning is dad. Okay, now at home, what kind of word is at home? This is a, uh, a prepositional phrase, and so at is a preposition. Um, fray, uh, home is the object of the preposition, close that in. It's telling us where he does this, so I'm going to go over and up, so it's acting as an adverb. Right? Always tells us how often. So this is also acting as an adverb. Okay? Or tells us how how often he does that. Um, next we have uh, the is modifying dishes. That's an adjective. And dishes is what's receiving the action of the verb, it's what's being cleaned. So it is the direct object. Okay. And then after is what kind of word? After is a preposition. And it's telling, uh, and then dinner is the object of the preposition. Close that in with parentheses. And that's telling us when he does the cleaning. So I'm going to come down, over, and up. And that is also an adverb. All right? Underline my subject uh, once. Underline my predicate twice. Okay? Now let's diagram this. Okay? So I'm going to go right here, just so I have plenty of space to make my, my diagram. All right, going to put my line here. So here we have cleans is the verb. Dad is the subject. Dad's capitalized because I'm using it as a proper noun. And he cleans what? Dishes. All right. Um, at home is where he does it. So I'm going to put at home. And it needs to be capitalized because it's capitalized in my sentence. At home. All right. Uh, dad always, okay, so he always does the dishes. So I'm gonna do this here, but always. Which dishes? The dishes. And when does he do it? After dinner. After, oops, dinner. All right, so that's how we, uh, how we um, diagram this. So we have dad cleans dishes. That's what the, store, what the sentence is primarily about. And then at home tells us where, always tells us how often, after dinner tells us when, and dishes um, tells us uh, which dishes, tells us what he's cleaning, and the, the dishes, okay? So always kind of tells us to what extent, all right? He always does it, all right? Okay, let's look at this sentence, all right? During lunch bunch, Rex told funny jokes obnoxiously. All right. So here we have um, we want to find the verb. So who or what is what's something that's happening in this story? And told is our predicate verb. Who told something was Rex. That's our um, subject. Now during lunch bunch. So here uh, during is telling us um, when something is happening, but this is a preposition. Lunch bunch functions together, so this is going to be our object of the preposition. So we're going to close this, close this. It's telling us when something's happening. So this is acting as an adverb, and it's modifying told. So a d v, it's an adverb. All right. Uh, next we have funny is modifying the jokes, and the jokes are what is being told. So this is my direct object, and funny is modifying that. So it's an adjective. 
because adjectives tell it tells us what kind of jokes, and that's an adjective question. And then obnoxiously, right? Obnoxiously tells us how they were being told. So this is an adverb. So we'll go down and over and up, and this is an adverb. All right. Underline my subject once. Underline my predicate uh, twice. All right. My verb phrase twice. Oh, no helping verbs with this that. All right. So let's go ahead and diagram this now. So here. I have told, Rex, and I have my direct object, which I already know, which is jokes. Okay, during lunch bunch, that tells us we've already drawn our arrow. We know it's to told, so we're gonna put during here. Capitalized like it is in my sentence. Okay, and then lunch bunch is functioning together. So lunch bunch. Okay, so that's a title for one specific thing. All right, so lunch bunch. All right, uh, Rex, we've already dealt with, told, we've already dealt with. Funny, funny is modifying jokes. So here, it'll be funny. And I'm scooting this all the way over because I know I'm gonna have to fit another word in there underneath um, told, and that is the word obnoxiously. Right? It means to do it crazy or do it in an odd way. obnoxiously, right? And so Rex told jokes. He told jokes during lunch punch. He told them obnoxiously, but thankfully the jokes are funny. All right? So that's the end of this diagramming lesson. Uh, good work on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.